Okay, welcome to our basic linear circuit number one. We're going to go over, uh, just at the very start, uh, how you can move on a little bit from body weight. Um, for many circuits, um, body weight is quite fine, um, but if you want to add some load, certainly you can, you can do that. We'll just go through basic um, squat position first. So Monique's um, feet are about shoulder width, toes pointed out slightly, and she's just going to <clears throat> squat down, okay? So note that her spine is neutral, okay? You push your bum back and she's gonna come up again, okay? So hands, hands are at the side when you're there, and as you go down, your hands come up. They help counterweight the bum as it pushes back, okay? So just a few more, Monique. Okay, so neutral spine. Okay, turn 90 degrees to me, please. Okay, and down again. Okay, so note her bum's going back, her back straight. We don't want to arch over. Um, head's in line with the body. Okay, weight back on the heels. All right, face me, please. Okay, now what, watch what her knees do. Okay, okay, and down. Okay, note that her knees track over her toes and her thighs are roughly horizontal. At the point where your back, lower back starts bending, that's, that should be your low point, okay? Um, now, uh, it's a good thing to use some piece of equipment around the house. A chair is pretty much perfect. Manny, can you grab the chair, please? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so it's a great position for you can sit down on the chair Okay, and just touch your bum and come up again, okay? So that's a good stopping point. And depending how tall you are or how long your legs are, um, they may be lower or, or higher. If you're a little kid, well, you know, you won't be going down that far. Uh, if you're a big tall guy, you'll probably be going down further. You can also use uh, steps as well. Okay, chair away please. Okay, depending what you've got, around the place, okay. Okay, so I've got a, a step here, which is about the height of a chair. <coughs> so you can just go up and down as well. Thanks, Monique. Okay, now, squats are pretty easy. You can probably do a whole pile of them. So you may need to add some weight. Okay, just use some household pieces of equipment. This is a fold up chair, okay. Not very heavy, but you can pretend it's a barbell almost. Okay, so you can have it in the lower position. Okay, you can either hold it by the strap or, or grip it by itself. Okay, and just do some squats from there. Okay. You can have it in the raised position. Okay, around chest in front of your chest and go up and down again. You can put it behind your neck. Okay, and again, just a couple of reps. All right. Now grab a couple of water bottles. Water weighs about one kilo per litre. Bottles and stuff, I think plastic's safer than glass. I'd be using plastic if I were you. Okay, um, drink bottles of water, whatever, and you can hold them whatever way you want and just do some squats there. Okay, lower position. Okay, hold them in the, in the middle as well. Okay. and grip them in, in the middle of the bottle too. Okay, so you can do that too. So raised position. Okay. Yep. <coughs> okay, great, thanks Monique. Dumbbells. Sometimes you just gotta be a little bit inventive over what you use. If you've got dumbbells, great. Kettlebells, sandbags. Whatever. Okay. High position. Okay, one one dumbbell in goblet. And narrow. Just on have it vertical. And up on the top, that's it. <coughs> okay, so one piece of equipment can be quite versatile. 
and doing that. Okay, the floppy disk, please. Okay, simulated sandbag or whatever. These are five kilos, and uh, they're a good they're a good weight. Okay, and raised. Beautiful. One of the weight the weights, please. So this is, this is the barbell weight, the black one. Yep. Okay. I bought these so they, they actually have, have hand grips on, on either side, so you can you can hold them. Okay, a couple more reps, thanks. And from Goblet. Okay, so they're easy to hold. A lot of, a lot of weights may not have um, holes or, or grips, um, but I specifically bought these um, so that they did. Kettlebell. I've got a full range of equipment here. I'm just trying to show you at the start of the workout um, some different ways of doing stuff. Okay, so at the hang, okay. Bell, bell down goblet. Yep. And bell up. It's a little bit more difficult. Okay. And you can also do sort of one handed versions as well. Medicine ball. <coughs> this does pretty obvious, but I, I just want to go through all the all the options so that then you can, you know, you, with whatever you've got at home, you, you can then do that. Okay medicine ball, okay, at the hang, at the goblet. Okay, barbell next. Okay, so traditional grip, feet shoulder width, hands just outside uh, the body, uh, overhand grip, make sure the thumbs are over as well, and just up and down. Again, you can add weights, this is just the bar obviously. Over a whole series, a bar can get quite heavy, can't it, Monique? <laughs> okay, so now front squat position. Okay, so fingers are up, elbows are but This may be restricted with some people depending on their shoulder and wrist mobility. Okay. Right, so we're using the arms as a platform to hold the bar. We're not supporting it by our. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, look, do that, please. Okay, so you can do that as well. Okay, and... Okay, all, all good for front squat. Okay, turn sideways, please. <clears throat> okay, so you see the arms and shoulders provide a platform for that to do it. Again, good squat position, weight back on the heels, driving the hips back, weight equally on front and back of the foot. Okay, uh, back squat position. All right, so this, again, arms can be four hours vertical or out a little bit depending on the stop. The bar should always be um, right symmetrical, right in the middle, so equal overhang right and left. And turn sideways please. And note that it's not on the neck vertebrae, it's a little bit lower hanging on the muscle uh, at the top of the back. Okay, Monique's a bit lucky, she's got uh, a ponytail, so that's a bit of support there. Uh, and it sometimes is worth, if, once you're getting heavy, you can put a rubber um, ring around that and I'll show you that at, at a later date. Okay, so just a couple of squats, please. <clears throat> you can actually see the difference between front and back squat. The, the body position is, uh, is uh, more upright in a front squat. Okay, and barbell down, please. Okay, again, a couple more ideas on putting some weight in. Monique, just you want to put your backpack on, please? All right, so you'd, you'd want to have the straps a little bit tighter than usual. And if you had a waist strap, um, you, would, you would use that. Monique hasn't got one there, and she's got a, her uh, little ass bag there, I think, is it? Yeah. JDS bag, okay. Um, and um, you could go as heavy as you want, okay? If you've got a full hiking pack, you can stick it full of, you know, water bottles or rocks or bricks or you know whatever you want to increase the weight all right um, if you have scales um, weigh yourself without the backpack on then put the backpack on get a uh, the increased weight and subtract it and that'll give you the amount of weight that you're actually lifting or carrying okay if you've got a couple of backpacks you can go light medium or heavy um, whatever you want to do okay 
Um, if you're doing jumping um, moves, uh, backpacks can be small backs can be quite good, but you'd, you'd want to be um, have a waist strap for that and maybe even a chest strap. Okay, just just for stability to keep it close to the body. Again, any any ideas? Um, great. Um, backpack off, please, Monique. <clears throat> Okay, so you can get sandbags, wrestlers bags, all sorts of stuff. Um, one common problem with bodyweight exercises is trying to get in pulling exercises. Okay, I've got a TRX here, and Monique's just gonna show you. Um, Kmart sell these for about 30 bucks, so that's, that's a great investment. Okay, so here you can get upper body row. Pulling exercises are just as important, if not more important than pushing exercises and it's a little bit harder to get pulling exercises in. Make sure you attach them safely, read the instructions, okay? Hopefully Monique won't pull the roof down on top of us, um, but that's a good example of a pulling exercise, all right? Upper body, horizontal row. <clears throat> you can buy those uh, chin-up bars that hang in, hang in doors. Um, you can use appropriate tree branch, uh, all sorts of stuff. For dumbbells, you, you can do bent over rows. And you can use barbell as well, okay? So notice good position, body all the way over, okay? Neutral spine and just lifting up, okay? You can do neutral grip there, you can do overhand grip. Okay, so we'll get into Olympic lifts and some other stuff in a later series. But there's just some ideas of, of things um, that, that you can do. Uh, Monique, just grab the step box, please. Okay, so if you're gonna do dips, um, it's good to have the hands elevated slightly. Okay, you can do straight leg, you can do bent leg, you can do dip bridges, So again, just use your imagination, see what you've got around the home. Um, don't be stepping on uh, your parents' good quality chairs and make sure that if you do pull-ups under, under a table, uh, for example, you don't have a TRX, uh, then make sure the table is not going to tip over on you and uh, smash your neck and kill you. Because um, not very, not, won't be very good for your next exercise and, we don't want to be in hospitals at this stage of things. So again, chairs, tables, boxes, uh, etc. Put the step back, please, Monique. <coughs> Grab the box out, please. The white box. Boxes like this are very versatile. You can use them as to squat on. So sideways, please. Okay, so just again squats. You can buy them in a series of tall or short as well. You can do step ups. You can do jumps as well. So look, very, very versatile. Thanks Monique. And actually even, even uh, push ups too. So move the box forward a bit. Okay, if you're younger or not a strong upper body, okay, similar to your knees, you can do push-ups from there as well on chairs. Make sure it's not gonna slide, because uh, again, you, you don't wanna hurt yourself. So safety first always, um, do, do a rep or two, just to check to see that it's um, gonna be okay. All right, so look, that's just a introduction on body weight and how to do, um, use, various pieces of equipment that you have at home to make your work workouts uh, a little bit harder, add some load. And um, thank you, Monique. <clears throat>